everyone, it's Richard Soon. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be diving into the world of fasting, more specifically, a 72 hour water fast. We'll explore the benefits, challenges, and overall experiences together. So, let's get started. Fasting has been practiced for centuries, often for religious or health benefits. Recently, it's gained popularity in the health and wellness community for its potential benefits such as improved mental clarity, weight loss, and even cellular repair. But what exactly happens when you don't eat for three days? Well, let's find out. finish eating my last meal, I'm going to take my last bit of creatine and some other supplements. And now, starting from 9.30, let's say, 9.30 p.m. today up until 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday, I will not be eating any food. Let's start this. Oh, before we do also, let's take a look at our face. So right now, my skin is not the best either. I've been just eating a bunch of ice cream and junk food and stuff like that recently. Haven't been working out as consistently either. So there's that, but I'm getting back into it. Let's see what we look like 72 hours from now. I'll give you guys my weight. I'll give you a physique check so that we could compare what we look like before starting this journey and after. about 18 hours in to our 24 hour water fast. In the beginning, it's not going to be that difficult. It's about 3.30 now. We started at 9.30 p.m. yesterday. In order to keep my mind off of food, I am going to be reading this book, Atomic Habits. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I'm gonna go to the gym later and I'm gonna drink some Kirkland sparkling mineral water and Zephyr Hills spring water. Drink spring water, not purified water. And hang out with Zorro and just let the time flow. I think the first day is going to be the easiest. You still have your glycogen stores and you're just starting to deplete that. So you're not yet in ketosis, you're not yet burning fat. So let's get on with it. I'll check in periodically with you guys so I could explain to you guys my experiences or any thoughts that I'm having. But let's stay strong and keep it going. So yeah. I also have one other book. It's called The Creative Act of Way of Being by Rick Rubin. I'm almost finished with this book actually, so I'm going to 
finish this as well. Reading has been something helping me mentally, spiritually. Even physically, it all carries over. So I'm gonna finish reading this book, then I'll get on with Atomic Habits. One other thing, I'm not going to be eating, <laughs> right? But I do want to strengthen my jaw muscles. So I bought this thing called Jawser Size. You're supposed to bite on it and it's supposed to increase like your jaw muscles and stuff. The new Demon Slayer season. Keep my ring, Goku. All right, guys, now we are off to the gym. I do usually go to the gym fasted, not always, but I've been practicing intermittent fasting for quite some time now. So I'm very used to working out on an empty stomach. But for anyone who is not very used to fasting, uh, I'd recommend that you do kind of ease your way into it. I'm going to go to the gym because that's my happy place. I'm gonna be working now, not taking it too, too heavy or hard. And then, pause. And then I'll come home and rest, but no post-workout meal or anything like that. Let's get it. guys it is 7 20 p.m now which means two hours and 10 minutes from now approximately give or take i will officially be 24 hours into this 72 hour water fast super glad that i went to the gym feeling good post-workout i felt great during the workout my strength levels are not what they once used to be but that's because i haven't been going to the gym as consistently 
was because I got some tattoos and I needed them to heal. Comment down below if you want to see a tattoo vlog because I did record footage of me getting these tattoos but I didn't upload it because I felt bad because my mom hates tattoos. But anyways, I digress. I will be checking in with you guys intermittently to let you guys know how I'm feeling throughout this whole process. Once we hit that 24 hour mark, I will also give you guys a physique check. So I'll give a physique check at the 24 hour mark, the 48 hour mark, and then the 72. We're going back home now. And usually post-workout, I'd be looking forward to eating some delicious food, but no food, just water. Uh, <laughs> so I can't have any food, but Zoro can have treats. Some like these beef treats. I go. Yummy. Boy. It's about 8.30 now. I will say that I am getting quite hungry now that it's almost 24 hours. I'm getting colder, so I have my long sleeve on. And I'm distracting myself by watching it. All right guys, it has been about 24 hours. It's 9.09, .09, so in about 20 minutes it's going to be 9.30. I'll give you guys a quick physique check, but I wanted to come in and let you guys know that right now I have kind of a bit of a headache. Whatever you eat goes into your body, it gets stored as glycogen, so your body uses that as energy. But once your body depletes itself of its glycogen storage it starts burning fat for fuel so that kind of transition can be uncomfortable to some right now I do have kind of that brain fog and I am feeling a little bit um, not the best because I'm hungry and I am transitioning into ketosis probably but I'll give you guys a quick physique check at 9 30 and I want to let you guys know that this first day is probably going to be the hardest of the transition part. Going to sleep tonight is probably going to be the hardest because I have trouble going to sleep when I'm hungry. But uh, day two and three should get easier from what I remember. So let's just trust in the process. All right, today 184. So we lost a couple pounds. All right, 24 hours in. <laughs> Definitely <sighs> lost some weight, lost some fat already. Excuse the look, I have my headband on, my glasses, my nasal dilator, which is for sleep apnea, and I'm watching a show called The Eight Show. It's a little past 11, and I'm about to go to sleep, really hungry, I have a headache, but from what I can remember, and from what I've read and seen, it gets easier. So when I wake up tomorrow, it should be better, although I really want to eat something, I won't because I started this 72 hour water fast and we're already a third way through, more so. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is day two. It's 12.10 now, so we're at about 39 hours into this 72 hour water fast. And I'm not going to lie, I had trouble sleeping last night because I have a hard time sleeping when I'm hungry. But I'm awake, I have my food for the day, which is some water, and some more water. I'm going to go get a haircut and mow the lawn. From what I can remember from the last time I tried the 72 hour water fast, I did have coffee last time and I miss it. This time I'm only drinking water. 
But what I can remember from the last time that I did this is that your body starts getting used to not eating and starts burning fat for fuel in this mode of ketosis. So honestly, I feel pretty good this morning. I wanted to sleep in because I didn't sleep so early last night. I ended up binge watching all of the eight show on Netflix and I'm awake now, but I do feel oddly clear headed. Let's get on with our day. All right guys, just got a little haircut, just cleaned up the sides a little bit. I know the hair doesn't look that much different, but I did get a little trim, so I feel a lot better, fresher, cleaner, in a good mood. Not very hungry. I'm not used to eating very early anyways. And I think we're kind of past that stage where I'm really, really hungry for food. guys we are on hour 48 of the 72 hour water fast I'm going to give you guys my weight and a quick physique check I'm feeling really good right now not hungry at all I think the ketosis has kicked in and I'm no longer uncomfortable burning fat for fuel and I do feel leaner let's see how much we weigh Wow, we are 179.4. I haven't been in the 170s nice. in a minute. Feeling leaner, looking leaner. Oh yeah, we're definitely leaner. In just two days, not even. Eh, $40. Zoro is all tucked in for bed. Alright guys, it is 12.50. I have my teeth whitening strips on. <laughs> Got my nasal dilator for sleep apnea. I'm having a little trouble sleeping as I did the night before. I'm trying to read up on why that is the case. The evolutionary reason is because it's recognizing that the amount of time the animal is normally awake for to forage food for is not sufficient because it's starving. Your body also, it's saying, produces a chemical called orexin, which wakes up the brain. Usually it's not activated or available when your brain shuts down and goes to sleep but when you have a caloric deficit and you're fasting and you have lower energy balances you release more of this chemical and hormone so hopefully i could sleep early tonight this study does also talk about though that although some of the patients who do multi-day fasting will struggle with falling asleep and staying sleep at night however on the flip side the sleep you do get actually seems remarkable for example heart rate variability goes up by 25 to 50 percent resting heart rate goes down body temperature goes down and the best night in terms of staging deep sleep is 25 percent REM sleep is 25 percent I don't really know what that means to be honest with you but yes fasting might have a adverse effect on your sleeping schedule but we're almost there day two we'll wrap it up here be night guys i'll see you tomorrow good morning guys it's day three the final stretch we're almost there i woke up today it is about it's 5 10 a.m now i believe i went to bed around midnight 1 a.m around there and i feel very well rested this is where your body should be in full ketosis burning fat for fuel and also going through the process of autophagy where your body gets rid of its old and damaged cells and trades it out with new and healthy ones and continues with cellular repair 
I will say just some initial thoughts. I'm a little colder than usual and I don't know if it's because I hit a chest and triceps and arms day a couple days ago but my triceps are really sore. I have these muscle pains in the morning but it could be for various factors. Today I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I might do some barbecuing, I might go to the gym, or I might just take the time to meditate and reflect and read. But I wanted to come in, share with you guys how I'm feeling. Really, I feel very, very much awake. And I can't go back to sleep now. I feel very well rested, even with those couple of hours. So excuse the bed head and kind of like the, the look going on. Stick around to see the final results. Little morning walk with Zoro. Get your steps in. I'm feeling good, honestly. Feel like I have a lot of energy on day three. All right, guys, we're on our way to a meat market so I could pick out a brisket so I could slow cook that for about 12 hours today. I'm not going to break my fast with the brisket because it's recommended that you kind of start with something light like maybe a soup or some smoothies in the beginning.
was in. I'm going to be spritzing the brisket every 30 minutes to an hour. Right now it's about 1.30 p.m. So eight hours from now we'll officially be at that 72 hour water fast mark and I'll be done with this 72 hour water fast challenge. And I'm gonna start with probably like some soup or smoothie and then have the brisket just a little bit later, but I'm super excited. And I'm feeling pretty good. I took like a little mini nap, two hours while I was letting that brisket cook. And we're in that final stretch. Wednesday, May 22nd. It's been three days, 72 hours since I started my water fast. It's important to break your fast gently. So I'm going to first eat something like a fruit juice made at home, some pumpkin soup, and three hard boiled eggs. After that, I'll slowly introduce more complex foods into my body, such as the brisket I made today. But before we do that, let's go and check our final weight and our physique. Reflecting on this experience, I've noticed improved mental clarity, a sense of accomplishment, and a reset in my eating habits. Fasting is not for everyone, but for some it could be a powerful tool to help improve your mental, physical, and spiritual self. I've noticed that I've lost some weight, around 7 pounds, some body fat, and I just feel overall better. So I'm first gonna start off with the eggs, the soup, the juice, and some sea salt. Once I eat this, I'll slowly introduce more complex foods like the brisket. All right, we're having our first, it's not a bite, but we're having food. Mm. This soup is really good. Some juice. and a hard boiled egg, which has salt bit, which has lots of uh, protein and healthy vitamins, and minerals and what have you. Cheers. Wow. Thank you for joining me on this 72 hour water fast journey. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health and wellness content. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever tried fasting and what your experience was like. Until next time, I hope you stay happy and healthy.